Number 54, consider this question. What is the molarity of HCl, so hydrochloric acid, if 35.23 milliliters of a solution of HCl contains 0.3366 grams of the HCl? We need to outline the steps necessary to answer the question, and then obviously we have to answer the question. Okay, so we're looking for a molarity, right? They gave us a unit of volume and a quantity unit, right? They gave us a mass. So the formula that I'm looking for is right here. This is the lovely molarity formula. I'll just put it up in the upper right-hand corner. The full molarity formula is molarity equals the moles of a solute divided by the liters of solution. More simply put, it would just be capital M, capital M is always molarity, equals moles divided by liters. So that's what I'm going to put down here. This is technically molarity equals moles over liters. So let's see, do we have a mole value or a liter value in order to solve for my molarity? Well, they gave us a milliliter value, but that's not a liter, right? And they gave us a mass quantity, right? Gram is mass, but I need to go to moles. So for letter A, there's a couple of steps that we have to do here. We need these specific units, right? So the first thing is we always have to convert until we get the units that we want in our formula. So step one would be to convert the 35.23 mils or milliliters and convert that into liters, right? Step two, we have to take the grams, right? The 0 0.3366 grams of the HCl and convert it into moles of HCl. And then I have liters, I have moles, now I can plug it into my formula. So step three is to finally plug in. Plug values into molarity equation. Okay, so let's get to it. So now this is letter B. So the first thing is we gotta convert. It doesn't really matter which one you convert first, you just gotta do all the conversions before you plug in your values. So I'm gonna take my 35.23 mils and I'm gonna go to liters. Now here's a quick trick, guys, right? If you're starting with milliliters, which is what we're starting at, and you wanna go to liters, right? You're ending here. All you do is you take your milliliter value and we're going this way, so we are dividing by 1,000. So I'm just gonna take my number and divide by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal and move it over to the left three times. Either way, you will get the same answer. So this would be 0 0.03523 liters, and that is equivalent to 35.23 milliliters. So now I know what the bottom number is. The liters is 0 0.03523 liters. Now let's work on the top. I have to convert the 0 0.3366 grams of HCl into moles of HCl. So that's this little trick down here. In this case, we're starting with grams. And I put grams of X because X could be any compound or element and I'm going to the moles, right? And moles of X, basically just saying whatever compound or element you started with, you have to keep the compound or element you, you end with. So I'm going this way, that's this arrow. So all I have to do is just take the gram value and divide by the molecular weight. Well, where is the molecular weight? It's on the periodic table. This is the same thing as a molar mass. So before I even do that, I have to find the molecular weight or the molar mass of HCl on the periodic table. So get the calces out. We just adding up the masses of an 1H and 1Cl. I'm gonna get the exact value. Um, and when I do that, the total weight for my uh, periodic table that I'm using, all periodic tables are going to vary a little differently. 
but the overall information is the same. So it's 36.458, and that's gram per mole. So I need that number. Now I'm gonna do the conversion. I'm gonna take the gram, divide, to get moles. So I'm gonna take my 0 0.3366 grams, that was from HCl, right? And divide by the molar mass or the molecular weight of 36.458, and that's grams per mole. The grams cancel out, and that's why you're only left with the unit of moles. So if I do that, 0.3366 divided by 36.458. I'll put it in scientific notation. I need four sig figs. So 9.233, right? 9.233, yep. Times 10 to the negative third. And that's moles of HCl. Whoop. Now... I know this number, 9.233 times 10 to the negative third moles. And last but not least, all we have to do is just do the division. We finally have the correct numbers that we can use for this equation. Molarity equals the 9.233 times 10 to the negative third divided by the 0 0.03523. And now we get an answer. So 9.233 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0 0.03523. Um, four sig figs here. So molarity equals 0 0.261. Nope, just kidding. 0 0.2621. That's your four sig figs. The units for molarity are either a capital M or it could be mole divided by liter, because these units don't cancel out. They're two, you know, different units. And that is your final answer. Okay, guys. So those are the steps. There was three steps for this problem. We all had to convert, and then you just solve. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And tell your friends, right, that this service exists. You know, tell your classmates. Tell, tell anybody. I wouldn't mind. Um, you guys rock. Thank you so much for, for being awesome and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Okay. Bye-bye.